So now we're going? Okay, hi everybody. So we are going to review the biochemistry lab for unit three. There's lots of good topics in there uh, that you'll need to remember. So we're just gonna reiterate those points. Okay, so we had Benedict solution. Now, Benedict's is just blue, so it starts blue. And what are you testing for? You are testing for simple sugars. And that's um, when they're talking about simple sugars, when you uh, want to avoid things like refined carbohydrates for diets. Um, they, they say, oh, re resist the refined carbs like table sugar or things like that. Um, it's going to be something that is absorbed very, very quickly into your cells because it's a smaller molecule. All of these carbons, so each one of these is a carbon. Um, there's one with an oxygen in there. So it's a ring of carbons and oxygen. You might see like an OH sticking off. Um, every once in a while you'll see this structure. And sometimes they're flipped, which does change the type of sugar that it is. But for the most part, as long as you see that ring, the carbon ring with an oxygen in it, you can say that that is a monosaccharide. Or a disaccharide would be uh, juicy. <laughs> would be two of these linked together. So you'll have two rings stuck together, and there's actually an oxygen usually in the middle of that, so. Two of those linked together becomes a disaccharide. These both, monosaccharides and disaccharides, are gonna be considered simple sugars. So when you're doing the biurette solution, it's gonna start blue, and if a monosaccharide is present, it's gonna turn the solution orange. And if there's a disaccharide present, it's gonna go green. Now, um, if you heat up monosaccharides, sometimes you can break this bond um, and go to a simple monosaccharide structure. So you almost never see just green. It's just like a little bit of green at the top and then the rest is gonna be orange. And that is a positive result. So when you have glucose, when you tested glucose, you're saying, I know glucose is sugar. So this is glucose. You put it directly into the test tube and then you put the Benedict solution in. And the reason you did that was not to test is glucose is sugar, it's actually to show you what a positive test looks like. So that's our positive uh, control there. So a positive control shows you the very, very definite that is what it should look like when it's a positive. And the disaccharide at the top is just, you know, just a little film on the top that's green. So that's not very distinct most of the time. Sometimes the green kind of bleeds down into the orange, but it always is up high um, and it, it doesn't ever turn completely green. So that confuses a lot of people too. So a disaccharide or a monosaccharide is present with the orange with a little green film on top. If there's no green film on top, then it's just orange, okay? So that's our positive Benedict solution test. You are testing for simple sugars. Um, so the, the other positive test that there should have been um, for glucose or a simple sugar should have been when you put in onion. So onion has a little bit of sweetness to it. I know it's kind of pungent, so you might not realize that it's it's got a little bit of sweetness to it, but if you caramelize an onion, you can really taste that sweetness in the onions. So it has some simple sugars in it as well. And that should have been your other positive result. A lot of people said that the potato was positive. And potato is actually starch. So its sugar comes in long, long chains. So I will go ahead and draw that um, shortly but starch is not a simple sugar, so it shouldn't have come back positive. It should have just been the very, very sure glucose is in there, it's orange, 
and then the onion should have been your other positive results. So um, hopefully that makes sense. That's the Benedict's test for simple sugars. Thanks.